Hello everyone. I have been experimenting with a new process. It's pretty much electrocuting wood. And I'm going to show you what I've done. I've taken apart a microwave just enough to get to the uh, transformer. Uh, I didn't even mess with the magnetron. I'm not going to kill myself just to do this. But pretty much I pulled out the microwave, rewired the transformer, so that it will give me approximately 2,200 volts. This is not the preferred method, and this is highly dangerous. If I were to touch any of the terminals, as you can see, I have very well wrapped them off so that I wouldn't accidentally do it. They come over here to these two clamps. These things will clamp to the wood, and I'm gonna put an electrolyte solution on the wood. Uh, that's what's in the glass just really saturate the top of the wood with it. That will allow the electricity to flow through it and burn in certain spots. I've, the two boards that you just saw earlier, these two were ones I just tried. I just finished making this. So all of this is still very unique to me. You can also see there in the background, it's unplugged. And you can't really tell, but the power strip is turned off. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Mix up the electrolyte solution and paint it thickly onto the wood. Now this is just maple plywood, quarter-inch plywood. Okay. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Clamp that side on. Clamp that side on. Let's see if I can get it centered a little bit better. Okay. So the wood's hooked up. Transformer. Make sure this is in the off position. It is. The black tape is so I can see it from a distance if it's off. Sorry, I'm going to have to plug it in by using two hands. Okay, plugged in. Now, this is what's going to happen. And did the wood already dry out? Turn it off. Plug it. I'm going to get a better grip on this wood on this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to mess with the camera again. Plugging it in. And powering it back on. There we go. For some reason, this time it's wanting to follow the edge. I'm 
I'm guessing I over saturated and got it on the bottom of it and on the edge of it. Now once they connect in the middle, it'll stop because there'll be a circuit made. But it's supposed to stop. Okay. Unplug it. See? Yeah, it got on the bottom. That's the reason it followed that path. Now the wood is very hot, as you can imagine. But as messed up as that is, you take it over and you dump it in the water and you scrub it just a little. And that's how it comes out. Now I'm still learning this, obviously. I'm, uh, like I said, false starts, uh, too much on the edge, but still, that turned out pretty nice, and it connected. Now, the microwave transformer is extremely underpowered for this. I'm supposed to have a more powerful transformer but right now this is what I have it was free along with all the parts that's a really cheap set of jumper cables that was lying around the house um, if you try this please be very careful it is dangerous um, a lot of voltage uh, one reason I'm holding the camera with one hand and doing everything with another hand is so that only one hand touches a jumper at one point. I don't want both hands to touch because that can jump through and that's how people stop their hearts. But in this case, uh, I've been very careful. If you want to try this, it is very beautiful. Just please be careful. Thank you.